At the height of the boom, we couldn't build fast enough. 90,000 homes went up in one year. Today, almost four times that number are lying vacant, according to researchers at UCD. Minus holiday homes, empty rentals and derelict houses, there are still 170,000 empty units. You could say that eventually over time, some surplus demand will be soaked up by the market. But as you get more distant from any meaningful urban centre, employment centres, etc., it, it is difficult to know what the end use will be for some of these properties. For anyone hoping to buy or sell, the road ahead still seems uncertain. According to UCD's researchers, there is a plethora of housing out there on the market, and they say vendors are still not willing to drop their prices. But further price falls now seem inevitable. A few years ago, the construction industry branded reports of a housing market crash as sensationalist and inaccurate. Today, the Construction Industry Federation denied the problem was caused by developers who didn't want to get off the merry-go-round. We acknowledged at the time that you know, 80 to 90,000 houses on an annual basis was not sustainable. And we always articulated that if you ended up back up building 50,000 houses at the growth rates applicable at that time, that that was a more sustainable figure. So developers remember, did mess up then? They built far too many houses? No, developers built to the demand that existed at the time. There are plans to use surplus housing to ease the social housing list, but the minister in charge admits he won't be able to use them all. There may be some partially built houses that may need to be uh, um, uh, knocked at some stage, but certainly not new houses that are built there. They are in a, a national infrastructure. I have a programme for to bring in many of those into use at this particular time. What will happen to the rest is anyone's guess. Sharon Tobin, RTE News.